Welcome back to the God Success Teach and Pray. Today's verse is Luke chapter 12, verse 40, and the topic is Stand Your Post. I also want to remind you to please like, comment, subscribe, and share to everyone. Need a custom prayer? Send a prayer request to sisterofstrength.us. This is yours truly, your MC and engineer, His Excellency the Car, and I am Director of Operations here at Guide You, as well as the CEO of the Car Marketing Tools, which is an international graphic and printing company providing you with all of your marketing needs to help you and your company grow. Our popular products, we have Guide You rings, we have Guide You pins, we also have Guide You African American History Bibles that you see in front of you. You can get this and you know it's African American History Month, so you definitely want to get that. It not only features our students and not only features our students, but it also features African Americans as well as your scripture as well. So you definitely want to get that. We also do banners, flyers, branded golf shirts, branded jackets like you've been seeing throughout the week. We also do digital business cards as well as turning your brick and mortar into an e-commerce platform. Definitely want to sign up for a class. We're going to teach you how to monetize using Zoom and using the same platform we used to watch our God Success Teach and Pray. You want to watch our Wednesday Icon Talk tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we have our man, oh man, our mogul that stands for Men of God Unleashing Legacy Successfully. And that is our designate Dr. Michael Johnson. And without any further ado, we have our leader for the day, His Excellency Reverend Dr. William Blake Chapman. Please take us away. Good morning. Good morning to all. And we want to thank our His Excellency Dakar Eubanks for a wonderful opening for this morning. We want to thank him for that beautiful smile he provides to all of us each and every week. Well, a handsome smile, handsome smile. Amen. He's doing a wonderful job for us here at God You, and we want to thank him for all the work that he does on our behalf. Well, good morning. We have a word from God on this morning. That word from God is found in the book of Luke. So I'm going to ask you as we do our prayer on this morning, if you would turn to the 12th chapter of Luke before we begin. Amen. Amen. Father God, here we are once more and again. We pray you, Father God, that you might bless us as we go into your holy word. Lift us, Father God, high and help us, Father God, to know what it is that you would have us to know and to do what it is that you would have us to do. We thank you, Father God, for this occasion that we come together once more and again, and that we celebrate your, you, your son, and the Holy Spirit in what is done and said here as we teach and pray this morning in Jesus Christ's name. Once more, Father God, we ask you to bless each one within the sound of our voice and that you might multiply, Father God, all those gifts that you wish for us to have among the people of God as they come together and celebrate you on this morning. This we pray, Father God, in the name of your son and our savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Our word is found in the book of Luke at the 12th chapter. And if you will be so kind, come with me, if you will. Come with me as we move down through this chapter. And I want you to, to just stop there at that 37th verse, but we're going to the 40th verse, which is our key verse for this morning. Amen. Remembering, if you would be so kind, what it is that our, His Excellency has already said to us this morning is that our theme for this morning is stand your post. Stand your post. Stand your post, amen? Here, when we come to this wondrous word found in the book of Luke, hear these words, amen? The 37th verse reads thus, blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching, verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. And 
This know that if the good man of the house have known what hour and that the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Now, the 40th verse is the verse we want to focus on as we look very carefully at our theme this morning, which is stand your post, okay? And it says this, be ye therefore the ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Come this morning, my friends, come this morning with me as we look at this particular text. This text is trying to send us a message a message about our Father who art in heaven. This message is this, that you are responsible to God for serving your post. He has given each of us in the, in the strategy of heaven a responsibility to be ready and prepared to do his holy and his blessed wills at all times. Did you not hear the word of God as we read it unto you? This morning, we read the word and it said that he might come in the morning at the first watch, he might come in the afternoon at the second watch. He might come at the third hour at the night watch. But he's coming is what it's trying to tell us. And he wants us to stand our post and to be prepared for his arrival. He wants us to be able to do what he is calling us to do. Because in the strategy that he has put together for us, it is our responsibility to play our role. Play our role is to do what God had willed for us to do that we might be builders and upbuilders of the kingdom of heaven in the work that we do here on earth. Yes, yes, yes. That's why the verse that I've started with this morning in the 37 verse tells you that when we do stand our post, amen, when we do stand our post, the Lord God is always about the business of blessing us. He blessed me once, somebody said, <laughs> And then they said, he blessed me twice. God is about the business of blessing you if he might come in the first watch or he might come at the second watch. He's going to always bless you. And then the scripture goes on to tell us something about God. He's not going to just bless you with a little bit that might suffice for a babe that was still suckling. But rather, he's going to bless you with a true, true blessing so that you might be able to sit down with whether you got your real teeth or your false teeth and eat steak. That's the kind of blessings our God brings to us. When we do what it is that God has ordained for us to do, you are positioned, my friend, in terms of what you can do for the heaven that we serve. You are positioned. And when you are in your position, you got to play your post. It's just like coaches tell their players, you got to play your position. Your position is very important. And if everybody out there can understand if you are not in position when whomever is on the opposition team, the devil, okay? When the persons on the opposition team are running their offense, amen, you are bound to be taken and you're gonna take a loss. Somebody's gonna throw a pass. Somebody's gonna put it up or lay it up high because you were not playing your position. You weren't playing your post. And I'm certain that His Excellency Dakar understands what I'm saying, since he's the champion basketball player for the organization. When the organization comes together, they understand that we have to play our post. We have to play our position. God is working it out for us when we work in his program. God is working it out for us when we understand that we have a role in making sure that the strategy is carried out for heaven. God is working it out for us because your post is very important. Be ye high or be ye low. If you do not carry out your responsibility in, to God, then the efforts of the kingdom may suffer. We do not want it to suffer. We do not want it to suffer. That's why we have to understand that this is a rich, rich, rich lesson that comes to us here this morning as we celebrate the Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen? Amen. Everybody needs to say just amen, amen, amen. Now, I want to thank you for taking the time to be with us on this morning. And I want to quickly, if I possibly can, to turn this particular message back over to His Excellency Dakar Eubanks, because we this morning are very much aware of the importance of playing our position. 
standing our post and doing the will that God is calling us to do because we are his servants and he loves us very much. I encourage you this morning to think about that and to study that word. And I'm gonna ask his excellency, Dakar Eubanks, to just take this away. Thank you very much for that wonderful message this morning. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And be sure to register for our upcoming events that we have. You can see it on the screen. And we also want to, to stick around. We have some following messages that I'm sure you're going to love. Thank you. In celebration of African American History Month, Global Old Day Seminar and University, in the spirit of our ancestors, celebrate our living legend, His Excellency, Dr. Michael B. Roberts, one of the first black U.S. billion dollar builders and the first appointed dean of God's U, widely acclaimed as one of America's leading and most influential businessmen. Dean Michael's innovative international bestseller, Action Has No Season 2.0, has been converted into a live Zoom four-week course to be taught along with Her Excellency, Cairo Eubanks, an internationally certified leadership coach. The Action 2.0 course features lessons and proven entrepreneurial strategies to educate entrepreneurs of all ages and will challenge participants to change their mindsets to confront cycles and excuses that show up in life conquer and win tuesdays at 8 p.m eastern standard time february the 2nd 9th 16th and 23rd on zoom enroll today for 333 dollars and receive your complimentary textbook to enroll, Cash App, Apple Pay, Zelle, 301-326-3191. To register with PayPal, honors at godsu.org. Or call us at 1-800-701-0954, extension 120, once you have registered. You don't want to miss this. Action has no season 2.0.